Hello friends, welcome to Joltech Learning. Now in this video I am going to teach you how to create a call using the Flutter. I am going to teach you a very easy method so that you can implement it very easily. So to implement it or do a call or a message or email, you first of all require one email or URL launcher so that first of all go in your pubspec file over here and inside the dependency we have to add two dependencies over here first is url launcher and this url launcher is version is 5.0.3 this is the version of our url launcher after url launcher to locate our services we required one locator so that now here we are going to use one locator which is named as get it which is used to locate our services inside our mobile phone so for that we have version 1.0.3 and after you have to add plus 2 now to add these services to our application over here you now you have to do this method get packages so it's going to retrieve the packages which if available now as you can see it's retrieved with existing zero code that means that retrieved successfully and how you can get that these are imported successfully for that use this import package and try to locate it as you can see i locate it get underscore it so that means that this packages are imported successfully let's add one more as you can see here url package now so that it's suggest me that our applications are launched or packages updated successfully so first of all friends you have to create here are services for call email and to message in this video particular i am just going to give you a call information how to do a call in flutter in my next videos i am going to teach you how to do email and the other service so for that first of all here we have to create services so let me create one class over here and let me call it as a call service and in this call service I am going to create one method which is going to return void but it going to call a method void call and it's going to get one argument as a string and I'm going to call it as a number now inside this this is the shorthand method this is the shorted arrow which is used to give return directly to this call and now whenever someone call this method we are going to launch a uh, now here you have to provide an url pattern of string this is the very important which you have to manage successfully so first of all here we have to provide tell this is for telephone to open it and after that you have to pass a number so we are passing a string number over here so I am just providing here a dollar and we have one variable number now we just created one calling service with this launch URL which is used by this underscore URL launcher after creating this call service we must have to bind it with the locator which we used as a get locator so first of all let get the locator by this get it now we have our locator to locate this call service to locate this call service let me let me create one method wait void set which is going to set this locator and we are going to locate dot register factory inside this register factory we have to pass a method which we want to register but here instead of factory let me create just one singleton so that it easy for us to give an instance directly so right now i am just binding a call service inside this locator now we just binded or created one call service over here after that we just created one get it and we just located it over here but it's giving error because we do not provide it argument so provide here a void now we are ready for our service locator which is going to locate this call service on behalf of us and 
after that we just have to create instance of the set method inside this main before calling run app method do not forget to call it before run app method otherwise it's going to throw an error or work indirectly which is do, do, you do not want let me just solve these errors now here you have to call this set so that it locket the call services and which is globally created as you can see here so that will be available in our whole application now we have created our services let's just use this service for that inside this body i am going to use safe area and inside this safe area to get value we have, must have to use form because form is one of the thing which is providing us a in input locator we are going to provide two things first is our text field and after that the submit button so here we require one list view inside which we are going to create children's and inside this children we are first of going to create text form field and inside this text form field we are going to pass one decoration as a input decoration and inside this input decoration let me provide one decoration and for that we are going to use icons and let me provide icons dot as we are providing phone number let me give phone now this text field is ready now after this text field let me provide one raise button so that we can submit our area so i am going to provide here raise button and whenever someone press this raise button i am going to call underscore and we just created one locator so just use that locator over here before using that locator we can't just use locator directly over here so first of all inside here we are going to create one final we created our call service over here as you can see with the name of call service so that we have to use over here call service and which is named it as a service because it's a service and we are going to use locator locator for particularly for call service now as you can see we created one locator for this service now whenever we want to call someone with the provided argument inside this text field we are going to use here underscore services dot call and here we have to pass one number which is provided inside this text field to get the number from this text field we were most required here one text field edit controller let's call it at underscore controller equals to text edit field controller now we have one controller to get value of this form field we are going to provide controller over here underscore controller now we can use that controller over here to pass the value as a dot text uh, to resolve this error let's first of all see which kind of error is throwing by them it's not returning anything so we have to call it like this now as you can see all error will be resolved whenever we some provide some text inside this text form field it going to say call at that number as a button Let's run it let's just run this code sorry friends it's throwing an error let's just see which kind of error is throwing it's calling that object of type call service is not registered inside get it let's just check it out as you can see i just miss out one brushes over here that's why it's throwing an error that it doesn't register let's just run this code again because it's working fine no error is there now let me show you as you can see here we have our text field and we have one button but we haven't provided any text to this button so it's not visible let me just provide some text for debug purpose so that you can you also can get some idea how it's working let me just provide one child with the text area and let's just see call and 
let just run this or hot reload again now as you can see we have one call over here now let just give a number over here let me go from random number this is the random number when I press this call the calling contact dialog box is open over here let's just call it as you can see our application is working fine and whenever we call this button over here it's using this dialog create a one dex box and give a button to call on this number whenever you call on this it's going to call but this is just an emulator it's not going to call anyone let me just stop it now friends this, this is what I want to share with you this is what how can you call someone directly by your application thank you friends thank you for watching this video if you do like this video then do like this video and if you want some more video on how to email or how to message someone then do subscription to my channel for my next video thank you friends thank you for watching this video